Hi, this will be a quick video on how to perform a linear regression on the TI-83 or 84 series graphing calculator. Once you have identified a data set, which in this case I'm going to use a set of data comparing barometric pressure to wind speeds, you have to decide which one will be your X's and which one will be your Y's, as this is a standard naming convention for our graphing calculators. I'm going to let my barometric pressure be X and my wind speed be Y. Going to my graphing calculator, I will go to the stat menu to enter this information in. From stat, I choose edit, which is my first option, so I press enter. And I am now at a list screen. List 1 is where I want to enter in all of my X values and list 2 is where I want to enter in all of my Y values. If you have other values in here, you can delete them one by one or you can clear the whole list by moving to the top of the list so that the list name is highlighted and pressing clear. Do not press delete as that will remove the entire list. You want to press clear. It will not appear as anything has happened at first. You need to move back down to the data set and then if you had pressed clear, all of that data would be empty. However, I have already entered in my list 1 and list 2. List 1 gets my X values and list 2 gets my Y's. So all of these values for my X's went into list 1. All of my values for the Y's went into list 2. Once I have my data entered into list 1 and list 2, I can go ahead and plot it. To plot the data, I'm going to go to my stat plot feature, which is the second y equals. I now have several options. I can use any of these plots, but we're going to use the first one. I'll press enter to and go in, and I want to choose on to turn that on. But before I do that, I'm going to double check that my scatter plot option is chosen, not the box and whisker, bar graph, any of those things, and that my X's are identified as coming from list 1 and my Y's coming from list 2. If they are not identified as list 1 and list 2, I can arrow down to them and I can rewrite list 1 in by pressing second 1, and that would type in list 1. For list 2, I would go second 2 for list 2. Once all the appropriate selections are made, I'll go back to on and select it. Notice off is no longer highlighted, on is. And I can go to the graph. Instead of pressing the graph key, however, I'm going to tell my calculator to zoom the graph directly to the data set. This is done by selecting the zoom button and number 9, which is zoom stat. And we can see all my data show up on the screen. Now this is great, but it doesn't do a whole lot for us. Let's say I actually wanted to go and see a regression equation in here. To calculate the regression equation, I go back to the stat menu and move over to calculate. I want a linear regression that will best fit this data set, so I'll choose option number four. When I press enter, it gives me the equation for this. I know many people are used to seeing y equals mx plus b. However, when we're doing regression equations in general, they will just use the letters a, b, C, what, however many they need, uh, for the coefficients. M is unique to linear regressions as it stands for modulus of change. We are using a more generic coefficient variable of A. So this is actually going to be our slope in this case, the negative 1, and our y-intercept is this 1,195. I could go and manually enter this equation into my graph by going to the y equals screen. Or I can, if I know that I want to put it in there, when I do the stat calculate, 
linear regression, choice number four, I can actually tell it to go ahead and put that into my function screen, the y equals, by selecting varse. Let me go to the key press history here so you can see it. Varse. Move over to y varse. And choose number one, function. I choose number one again for putting it into y sub one number for my function. This will now, when I press enter, not only give me the regression equation, but back in my y equals screen, it has written it into my y sub one function. And when I look at my graph, Notice the line is in there. This can allow me to calculate values for my regression equation quite quickly. If I go to second, calculate, or even just the trace, I press the trace button, right now it's going to jump back and forth between points on the line. Okay, But if I press the down arrow, you'll see up at the top of the screen, now that it's actually reading my regression equation instead of just point 0.1 and point 0.2, I can type in whatever value I want for x and it'll give me the corresponding y. Say I want my x value of 902. I can simply type in 902 and enter. and It'll tell me what the predicted y value is at 902. Right there. But make sure before you do that that you're on the regression equation, not still on the points. Okay, that quickly covers how to run a regression equation on the TI-83 and 84 series calculators and how to quickly derive values from that regression equation using the trace feature on your graph. I hope you find that helpful. Good luck. Have fun.